Hello and welcome. It's Sticky Kisses Day. Today I'm using those PBO paints, PBO, 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 and that that I was pointing out is just water in a, a squirty bottle that I've um, recycled. I'm using a little bit of um, my global paints also with this. That is a makeup brush. I've got a whole set of them for about five dollars, which I wouldn't get those kind of um, paint brushes for five dollars anywhere I don't believe so um, first of all this is what's called what I'm painting on is a laminated or a melamine board and I got them from an art shop they're quite expensive for one board um, so I guess you could use a piece of laminate or melamine or whatever you call it in it I'm not sure different countries have different names um, but it's kind of got a, 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 a lot of shiny surface. That's why it's very good for sticky kisses. Sticky kisses do work on canvas, but I don't get... Um, I just get a different effect on these boards. But you could very well sort of, um, yeah, get any piece of, like, uh, laminated board, I guess. What I've done is um, I've just put that cool blue neat on there with the brush and I'm just spraying with water. Um, you've got to sort of kind of make the paint sticky, um, hence the sticky kisses. So that's my balloon art magic. That's a magic balloon. I've got to say that, haven't I? Hopefully it will give me special powers, special powers. So this is the sort of process you put the paint on and it probably would be better if I'd actually put that paint on a lot thinner or maybe worked even better if I'd have dipped the paintbrush in water. I have silly jilly, I did actually forget that that is something that works so much better is dip your paintbrush in water and um, be, um, and put a bit of paint on the board that works really well because usually if it's a bit thick like I'm getting here I don't get such um, defined sticky kisses this is not too bad but it actually works if the paint is thinner it works a little bit better but I'll give you a close-up so you can have a look at these sticky kisses and it's quite therapeutic or what's the word that they're all using now ASMR um, somebody will know the meaning of that like gives you the tingles when you're doing it Okay, this is a close-up of just that one colour. So I just wanted to show the absolute detail that the humble balloon can give to you. It is pretty amazing. I Every time I do this, I am, you know, in awe because they look so intricate. You couldn't even paint the detail that comes up with these sticky kisses. It's, yeah, always... Um, yeah, always nice and therapeutic. Rightio. So I'm into just squirting a bit of the colour of those Pebio, Pebio, Uzio, Watsio onto um, my board and then spray, I will spray it with a bit of water to get them nice and um, pliable and I find that works really well. So there you go, a bit of um, just bit of plain H2O. It is really a good idea to keep a really um, a nice damp cloth so each time you do your sticky kisses you can wipe your balloon off on a damp cloth um, and then it keeps your balloon able to be pliable. I'm sort of having a little bit of trouble with this particular one even though I have done 
this technique as you've seen before it's under the playlist sticky kisses um, but I was yeah I think that I've using the colors that were too close to the base color but I wanted to really do a monoc monochromatic effect so um, I was just working with it and ultimately the end results were beautiful and still you can't really see it looking down onto this cam you know through this camera but the detail in the kisses is, is just really wonderful so we'll plug on because I've got some surprises um, and some more fun for you all to try so um, stick with it for a minute or two See, just look at that detail that you get in these sticky kisses. How awesome is this? And now I've just had so many ideas running through my head to use these actual sticky kisses as background for further embellishment or further um, art to go over the top of this to make it kind of like a 3D effect. And, and that's what I hope to be doing in the coming weeks is thinking of other ideas to go on top of my sticky kisses so yeah look at that I mean you can't yeah it's so detailed it's really lovely and it's such great fun and um, another thing I just want to mention that I haven't mentioned yet is it's on my spinner and I find doing this is so much easier on the spinner because you can keep turning your board or canvas or whatever you're using so it's good okie doke here she goes first idea was to just a paintbrush and remember I did several probably two or three years ago now um, I did my tree of life swipe if you haven't seen that go check it out I think it's in the playlist tree of life or um, I could link it in the comments and that was a swipe with the tree of life so I thought so why not create my sticky kiss background so it gives depth to the actual piece and it really um, did turn out to be you know a really like 3d effect and I am wondering if you did the sticky kisses allowed them to dry and then did a coat of clear um, resin and then painted over the top of the resin something like this then let that dry again and put something else over the top it would truly give such a feeling of depth and um, true 3d but as you can see my kind of tree of life in that um, you know kind of surreal background it really was quite stunning and I'm very happy. So I hope you enjoy it. I will definitely keep experimenting with this and um, do some other colors but just look how it turned out it was so much fun to do 
But now these ideas are like whirling through my head that the background would be perfect for ocean, for sea anemones, anemones, jellyfishes and and shells and things and then doing the reeds in the ocean in a different colour. So I'm so excited to further this particular technique with more art on top of it. So let me know what you think lovelies and did you enjoy that and would you give it a go? So until tomorrow I will say bye for now and that's my weird and wonderful tree of life.